Hey everyone, I'm Adam with UAV Coach, and if you've ever worried about crashing your drone, trust me, you're not alone. Crashes are part of the learning process, and today I'm sharing the story of my first drone crash. I'll break down what went wrong, what I wish I knew before flying, and how you can avoid making the same mistakes. Let's get into it. So let's set the scene. It was during a road trip through the Pacific Northwest and we were just a couple of days in. My friends and I found this incredible waterfall and decided to hike down to it. It was the perfect spot to fly my drone, or so I thought. I found a flat area to set up and launch my Mavic 2 Pro. I started with some basic shots of the waterfall and then decided to try something I'd always wanted to do, recreate that iconic FPV shot where the drone starts at the top of the waterfall and flies down it in a smooth curve. My plan was to start at the top, push the drone slightly forward, and then drop downward while tilting the gimbal to create a dynamic angle. My first attempt was okay, but I wasn't happy with the shot. So I decided to try again. I flew the drone back to its starting position, which required me to back it up slowly. This is where things started to go wrong. My controller kept warning me about weak GPS signals, probably because I was surrounded by a lot of trees and bushes. I pushed the stick back gently, but when I let go, the drone kept moving. Before I could react, I glanced at the screen and saw the dreaded glitchy footage. Then nothing, the screen went black. I immediately tried pushing the controls to move the drone forward or upward, but there was no response. I looked up toward the waterfall and my drone was nowhere to be seen. I even stayed there for a while, hoping the waterfall might spit it out, but no luck. Eventually, I do accept the situation that my drone was gone. To make matters worse, my DJI Care Refresh plan didn't cover the Mavic 2 Pro anymore, and I couldn't retrieve the drone because there was no path to the top of the waterfall. So what went wrong? Looking back, I think the crash happened for two reasons. First, weak signal might have caused the drone to briefly lose connection and not register my inputs. Second, my stick sensitivity might have been set too high, so even after I let go, the drone continued to drift. If you wanna learn how to adjust your stick sensitivity, check out this video here. So what could I have done differently? Before flying in this tricky environment, I could have taken a moment to think about the risks and if they were really worth it. I also should have been using much more minor controlled stick movements. I should have avoided any sudden or large inputs, especially if the drone wasn't responding perfectly. Overall, crashing my drone wasn't fun, but it taught me a lot about flying responsibly. It's a story I can laugh about now, and it's helped me become a better pilot. And again, if you've ever crashed a drone, or if you're nervous about it happening, just know you're not alone. Almost every drone pilot has been there. The key is to learn from it and keep improving. If you want to learn some more tips on how to not crash your drone, check out this video here. We'd also love to hear your stories, so share your drone fails or crashes in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future drone videos. Until next time, blue skies, and safe flying.